Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for joining us. This game is going to be played unedited. I will try my best to explain my thought process for playing during the game. Uh, for more specific tips, be sure to check out the following video titles that are listed below. My favorite, of course, is a Solitaire Complete Tip Guide. It's over 35 minutes long, and it's got like all kinds of stuff in there to help you get uh, better at playing this game. Let's go ahead and get started here. And uh, generally speaking, I like to play the columns first, then go to the draw pile. I like to save any early cards in the draw pile, if there is any, for later, and then try to play cards out of the back of the draw pile. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Let's see how this goes. We've got an eight, we've got a seven. So we're moving some columns. This is good, because this may open up a column for us. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this out of here at some point, I think. So three of spades, we can't play. We can't play that. This four is going to be our insurance card. We'll save it for later. We are going to play the six, though. The two is a questionable play. I think I'm going to hold off on that. We may get another look at it. We don't like to play uh, low cards unless there's an ace up here, uh, with, like, say, an ace of clubs. Because these cards can bottleneck you later on, and you don't want to be using the undo feature too much. Uh, but that's been my experience anyway. So we're going to play this five. Going to play this ace, of course. And uh, we may play this two diamonds. We may not. We're going to wait till we see a king, of course. And just going to go through here again. Okay, we can play this ten. Six is a good card. Allows us to play this five of diamonds. But more importantly, there's a lot of cards we can play here. We're going to play this card. Right here, the Nine of Hearts. We're going to play the Ace of Diamonds, the Two of Diamonds, and the Three of Diamonds. So that's one problem out of the way. We've also opened up a column for whenever we find a king. So we can put there and uh, maybe move some more cards around. Uh, seven of Clubs. Nope. Okay. Going through again. And remember, this Four of Diamonds is our insurance card. We also have an Ace of Clubs under there, so... That'll be good because we can open up this three of clubs. So we're going to get to that, but we're going to look at the back of the draw pile first. Let's play this eight of spades here, which will allow us to open this up. That column is open up there. We can move this if we need to. We're not going to move it yet. If we needed to move it for a king, we would do that. Oh, we won't have to do it at all. Uh, we got this king down here, and we got this ace. And now we can move these two hearts up. So that's that worked out really good in that situation. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, in this case it did. Again, this will be our insurance card. And uh, it looks like we're going to be using our insurance. And we're going to play, let's see, two cards. We're going to play the Ace of Clubs because we can also play the Deuce of Clubs afterwards. Going to play the four... I think we can just play this up top, yeah. Because we can, when we play the deuce of clubs, we'll be able to play this three of clubs here. And that's, the three of clubs is really going to be the, dif the difference between if we can get this solved or not. Because if there's no cards under this, we're probably done. So the two of car uh, clubs is going to come up next. Oh no, no, there is, I take that back. Uh, this three of spades is going to be our new insurance card. <laughs> so we have an extra move, so that's kind of good. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's play this two of clubs up top, three of clubs. Uh, we can play the five of spades there. Okay, now we can play the queen. That's good. We're still getting bottlenecked. Let's see what we have. Not the best sequence, but not the worst. I think we have a move or two left. Let's see what we can't find. Oh, that's a good card for us. Now we can move the six. And we can move that king there. Okay, we can move the nine. That's good. And let's see. We need a red four of hearts. Oh, no, no. We can do the other way. This five of hearts can go up top. Or not up top, but this five of hearts can be opened up. I think you can see the sequence. If not, you're going to see it shortly. There's a four of diamonds right here. There's a five of diamonds right here. 
That means the five of hearts can go right here under the six of spades. And uh, that's very good because we can open up this column all the way. Again, the four of clubs can go up. The five of clubs can go up. I think I'm going to put this up for now. May change my mind later. Uh, we don't have a six of clubs, though. That's kind of the critical card. Let's go back and see what we have here. May have put one too many cards up. We may need to play this three of spades. Again, we're going to go through and see what we have and then make a determination as to that. So that can be played there. Yeah, going to have to go back, I think. Yep, we're going to have to go. Oh, wait, no, we can play the 10. 10, 9, 8. Was there a seven? There was a seven. Okay, the seven was under here. But we can get to that seven, okay. So we want to be able to play this king and then play play these big cards. So we're going to have to figure out a sequence here. It's a little complicated. But that's okay. So we can play six. Uh, let's see, five. Oh no, we need to play one of these. We need to get this three out of the way. That was our insurance card that we uh, kind of muffed up. So we're going to go all the way back. And let's see here. Six. Five. Five. Four. We need to play the other five. Let's go back a little bit more and see where we're at here. So we have this five. We got a four somewhere, right? We need the red four out, don't we? We need to go all the way back to where the red, there's the red four. We need that out. We need the red four out because we have our insurance card, the three of spades. We can't play that because unless the red four is out. So, okay, I hope I'm making sense here. This is going right here. And uh, we're not going to be able to play this sequence yet. We can play the three of spades. Let's see what other cards we have. Uh, yeah, the three of spades is going to be played. Right there. And we can't play the seven yet. Oh boy. That may be, oh no, we can play this queen. So we're gonna play this queen. But is that enough? We can play this 10. We're gonna need to find a nine here. Okay, nine. Eight, I think the seven, where was the seven? I'm trying to remember. There was the seven. Oh, no. That's not where we want it. That was the black nine we wanted. Let's see. The three of spades is going to hold us up on every uh, sequence here. So that didn't work. Um, don't want to give up yet. So the three of spades was going to be our insurance card. Can we get around without the three of spades? I don't think we can, because I think we tried that sequence. Let's see, we hit the four. We played the king, we played that. Oh no, there was, you know what? There is another option. Was there the other, let's see what the other card was. The other nine, okay, that's the, I thought there was another black nine. Yeah, there is another black nine right there. Okay, you gotta try this sequence. You gotta try this sequence. That black nine is gonna show up 
in just a minute. We're going to play that black nine, not this one. We're going to play that black nine and play this red eight of diamonds and see how that goes. And maybe this can save us here. So I'm going to play this and we're going to go back. I'm going to play this one too. And then we're going to come back and play the black nine that's in the draw pile, not the one in the column. And we're going to see what we can uh, come up with here. Maybe nothing, may not be nothing. Let's see. So I'm going to play the black nine. I'm going to play the eight. And that's a four. So we can play that. That's a two. That's a very big card for us because that allows us to move the three of spades up top. That also allows us to move this card here. We can move the four of spades. We're just going to slowly move the low cards up until we don't have any moves left. And then we'll see if we can't move something in here. So five of spades up. Uh, six of spades up. That may be... I don't know. We can do six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. We're going to do seven of spades. Eight of spades. And now we have moves. We're going to move the two diamonds here. You can see there's two hearts. We're going to take this eight of clubs, move it under the nine of hearts. That'll open up the nine of diamonds. But before we do that, we need this eight of diamonds to be able to go up top. I think you see the move here. Put the seven under the eight. Now we can move the eight up. We can move the nine up. And more importantly, we can open up this nine of spades here by moving the eight of hearts underneath the nine of clubs. We can move the nine of spades up top. And we can move this five of hearts up top. And of course, we can move this ten of diamonds over here. And we can move this king to open up the queen. And uh, I think you pretty much see the rest of this. Four of clubs up top, five of clubs, six of hearts up top. And we can move this jack here as well. We can move the seven of hearts, move the six of clubs, and whatever other card, which happens to be right there. And uh, we have solved it. So that's pretty cool. And of course, that is going to wrap this up. I am signing out. I would like to uh, thank you for watching and wish you good luck.